Hello, this is Coco in honor of this new Bastille mixer called Bestie. I'm going to perform a song for you. Just wrote it today. It's called Medusa. Let's go. Running, gunning, shunning from my goal Skimming, binning, pinning down my soul To get away from my prey I gotta stand in my way Even if I start to take a toll Running, gunning, shunning from my goal Skimming, binning, pinning down my soul To take away from my prey I gotta stand in my way even if I start to take a toll Running, gunning, shunning from my goal Skimming, binning, pinning down my soul Take away from my prey You gotta stand in my way Even if I start to take a toll Betting, betting, fanning off life's charm now Dreading, panning, spreading false alarm now I stop believing in my goals And we're feeding on your post Had to fight myself against from harm now It's not a lot, and I'm trying so I got as I'm flailing down the sink. Falling, crawling, stalling at the brink. Lying, crying, trying to be a link. I know it's not a lot, and I'm trying so I got as I'm flailing down the sink. See your face now slowly turning into stone. Burning, yearning, turning on your own. Clever, never going to atone. I didn't have to chase. You let me see your face now slowly turning into stone. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to show you how I just set everything up. Uh, this is not going to be a tutorial, just a little quick glance of the setup. I'm using the, the new Bastel Bestie. It's a stereo mixer with five stereo tracks. And one of the tracks, this one in the middle, can do feedback. So if you have nothing plugged in here and you turn it on, you can make a feedback of its of itself like so it's going into more and more feedback which is a really cool thing i think it's more than just a simple feedback loop when you turn it you can hear that it's not going totally out of control but you can be pretty aggressive uh, but it's not spinning out of control which is a very nice and controlled 
I think there is even a slight EQ involved there. It's just a tad of feedback, I'm kind of fattening the whole experience a little bit, which I think is cool. It actually, you can use it as just to beefen up the signal a little bit in some nice way. So on channel one is the microphone. Oh, hello there. And this is the microphone I'm using. It's a Sennheiser E935. Uh, very nice microphone. This here is my first stage of the microphone. It's the Centrans Mic Port Pro Mark III. It has a very nice gain and it fits like this tabletop setup vibe. A very portable uh, microphone preamp. And uh, it's also an audio interface if you want to in a pinch. I'm just using it as a preamp right now and it can even run on batteries, although I'm using it powered now. Yeah, and this microphone goes into the compressor here by Empress Effect. And also it has a tone curve. It's kind of a quick EQ solution uh, within the compressor. I think it's a kind of a slant EQ. I'm also sending the vocals coming from here into the Zoya, where I prepared a certain patch. So if I turn on, you can see this black cable here, it goes into channel five, it's the effect. Hello. And I, I created a specific solutions for, uh, for the vocals there. So right now it's sending into a, a reverb, very simple. But I made it a little bit more complex so that when my amplitude of the volume on my voice is very low. It's not sending as much into the reverb. But as I'm, as I'm singing, I'm raising the volume of the voice and then the amount of, of my vocals going into the reverb is increasing. Is increasing. So when I'm swelling out, it's going into the reverb a lot. And then when I'm diminishing, it's kind of, more of a close experience. And also I prepared a delay when I press this. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. So just to start sending into a delay as well. Also, this is the keyboard. I'm gonna turn off the effect right now. This is the keyboard. I got the keyboard here. There we go. So this is the stereo sound coming straight into here. But I'm also sending this as well as a mono into the Zoya on the other channel into the Zoya to, to even send this into a huge uh, wide stereo reverb. to make it even bigger, bigger than life, if you will. This, the Mega FM that I'm playing right now, it's very noisy. So you can hear that noise coming in there. It's not the mixer, it's the synth, it's noisy. So when I'm playing it, it's a little bit noisy. And also if I'm doubling it into the effect, that noise is gonna be present in two places at the same time. So what I did was I created a sort of a smooth gate. So when I'm not playing it, there is nothing being sent into the effect. So we can't hear the double uh, mega FM noise floor right now. But as soon as I play it, it's opening the gate, sending it to the reverb and delay. Yeah, 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 so far so good. So the thing we have left is here, it's just a clean signal uh, of the model samples here that I use for this song, nothing done with it. Yeah, and what I did in the end, in the middle of that performance, at all times I kept the feedback on, the effects, everything was on, and at some point I started messing with this as a, an effect to to create a sort of a an expression of of yeah despair or something during the the whole uh, uh, the whole performance 
And it's taking everything. Everything is the master and doing it on the master. As long as I'm not using this uh, input for a different source, then the feedback is not available. So that's really cool. Even when there's just a tad of feedback, like so, that I, I was using as kind of a middle ground, it's doing something to the sound. Like, listen without. It's a little bit hard to pinpoint what exactly is happening at such a, a, a small uh, value, but I think... It's gluing everything together a little bit, fattening everything in a, in a little bit. And what happens then, let's turn everything on, uh, is that we're going to this uh, kind of distorted feedback place. And I'm pairing that with a master volume. that sweet spot um, the sweet spot where it's feedback it's beefing up and then it starts kind of cracking and distorting to find that point where to express some sort of despair yeah I think it's, it's it sounds actually it sounds really really good and this is I'm finding this very useful uh, from a creative stand, standpoint yeah yeah Even just a little bit of that could be really colorful and cool for drum part or other kinds of stamps or yeah, sound sources. Yeah, so there you go. I hope you like the song. I'm going to make more videos about this specifically. And if you're interested in the pattern I made here, maybe it's time for me to make another Zoya tutorial as well. They just dropped a very, very cool update for the Zoya. So more on that very soon. Peace out, everyone.